Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson. We're gonna start a brand new series. We're gonna call it the Contest Diet Ladder. You might remember we did the uh, Peking Ladder, I think it was, Adam. Both of these were your ideas, so I think they're yeah. phenomenal. <laughs> but uh, So what we wanna do conceptually is put together a hierarchy of all the things that you need to know, just like we did for the peaking process, but for contest dieting. And this is not a new concept, this guy, this was me like a thousand years ago. In my first book, I created the building blocks of nutrition and the exact same concept. You know, what's the most important thing and then the next and the next. Uh, we know Dr. Eric Helms created the, his nutrition pyramid, almost identical to what I did 20 years ago. He totally stole it from me. Um, and now we're going to reinvent it a little bit because Adam has even updated some things. So you start with one block or one rung of the ladder, Adam, that I, that I never even address, which is accuracy and adherence. So before we even get into how much food somebody eats or how they're gonna go through this process, it's just kind of that conversation that this has to be an objective approach. So what do you think is the most important thing? How, how do you have that conversation with clients? It's a tough one to have because it can sound like accusatory, but it's, um, I, I don't think people are like brutally dishonest, but I think they kind of forget, you know, they get busy during the day and they maybe forget that they grabbed a mint from maybe the bowl that's in the office or maybe anything else or maybe even an apple. Even though these are better foods, um, it's important that we're logging and tracking those. And I think it's even more important now in the world of flexible dieting where you're not getting a meal plan that says you eat at this time and this much food and it's two ounces of this and four ounces of that. We really kind of follow up on our clients to make sure they're weighing and tracking everything well, um, even if they are writing it down because sometimes things don't make it to the my fitness pal or the daily log. So um, there can be this big bubble of um, almost no communication or forgotten communication. And I think it's, it's important for people because we're talking to a crowd of people that are, are dieters, if you know, as a part of their career or their lifestyle. And so they know this stuff matters. And if we can link it to the science, you know, this is, this is why every bite matters. This is why every calorie matters. You know, the, the time between meals, the amount of protein you're consuming, you know, even that is not quote free. A lot of people think, well, Hey, it's not carbs. So it'll be fine if I you know, grab an extra ounce of this or that. Um, but when, when we can bring the client back to exactly why this is important to stay at least accurate, if you're going to consume something more than planned, at least put it down so it's tracked and we can measure the result and we can assess and then we can adjust from there. But if you're not accurate and you're not adhering to something, then you're just shooting from the hip all the time. And, and there's absolutely no way of knowing, you know, how to take the next step. Yeah, and I would say some things are just habit. I've had clients who were like, I know what a half cup of cottage cheese looks like, and they probably do, but if they're not actively weighing or measuring that, um, that can, you know, it, your meal prep should feel like a job. Yeah, and, you know, sometimes there, there is room when, you know, when it really comes down to it every single gram and calorie and ounce of everything we could say really has an important value, but the amount of sleep we get, the energy expenditure, there's a lot of variance on the other side of the equation on output. Uh, but at the same time, especially when you get to the end of a contest prep and you ask yourself, okay, could I have done more? Could I have been a little bit better? You just don't want to have those questions when you know the things you could control you just let slide. You know, that's a big part of it. Absolutely. All right, guys. So we're going we're gonna to continue going up every rung of the contest diet ladder. But this is the first thing to understand is that, uh, you know, Adam and I both believe that, that objectivity and accuracy is very important. It helps you understand what your body is capable of. It helps your coach understand how to make the next moves. So we will catch you next time in Contest Prep University as we move on to calories.